hey, this looks like. Have you seen this yet? This portrait of an alleged Bigfoot, which was posted on my team, Finger Thunger Facebook group by Chris H. Chris, thank you so much. Chris asks, is this real? What do you, what do you people think of this? Boy, I don't know, Chris. It looks, judging by the saturation of it, like it's, you know, like it's an older photo, like maybe from the 80s. Like maybe it was done uh, when Sears was doing their, their, their family photos. It's kind of what it looks like to me. And yet it just turned up, you know, big mystery. Also, I, there, there's quite a bit of interest here and others have posted this on my Facebook group. Uh, it sounds like it was first posted out on Reddit. And they say they don't know who took it. There, there's nothing known about it, which uh, that, that's a bit of a red flag, isn't it? So let's, let's go look at this thing and I'll show you a few things I've found. Here we go. <laughs> now, there is a new channel on, on YouTube who has covered this. And uh, several, several of the people in my Facebook group thought this, this analysis here was quite brilliant. And I'm going to have to say thank you for that because the guy is using techniques that I've been using for like 10 years now and developed. Uh, and he didn't give me any credit to that. So that's uh, that's kind of not cool. But he goes on to say the the percentage of this being an AI generated is only 5%. And I don't know quite how he would come up with that percentage. Uh, in other words, he's saying it was not done, could not be done with AI. Then this guy goes on to say, he, conclusion, the Bigfoot mugshot is a real photo of a real undiscovered hominid species inhabiting blah, 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 blah. So now let's put the word of this new Bigfoot analysis hotshot to the test when he said AI could not generate fur and hair like we saw in that photo. I am right now at an AI image generation website and I am going to tell AI, I want to see a Bigfoot face. And I am going to give it some image guidance. I'm going to say, use this face to go by. And here you can, you can give it the strength. I'm going to say about 85, 84% based on this image here. Now the question is, Will AI be able to recreate this? And that's all I have to do. Bigfoot faces the prompt based on this. And now I hit generate. And we look over here and we see right now AI is working on it and it'll be through. It's already done. So look at that. <laughs> it is practically a spitting image. Look, there's all the hair. There's the fur. So can can AI generate fur and hair like this? We're looking at it. We're looking at proof. So when that guy said, AI cannot do this, he was mistaken. Now I'm going to show you the, the, the brilliant work of a guy I was lucky enough to meet online years and years back. His name is Satan Fudge. I'm still not sure why. But this guy was kind enough to share with me his, his method for doing this amazing work that he does. He does monster sketches and demons. Let's look at Bigfoot faces. Now I'll scroll down. Look at these. These are composites of, of known primates. And you'll see, like look at them here in the leaves, you'll see where there's quite a few similarities between Satan Fudge's work and, and, and our new Bigfoot mugshot. And I have to say, I was expecting to see that image in, in, uh, in Satan Fudge's portfolio here and didn't. And I haven't reached out to Satan Fudge yet to ask him if it was his. Look, look at this image over on the far right. I mean, that is very, very similar work. So... It seems safe to say that, that our new mugshot was done by doing compositing work, like in Photoshop, photo editing, like Satan Fudge does. Now it's time to do a, a proportional DNA measurement. And I wanted to point something out real quick. The reason I no longer do work like here, like putting two images up, scaling them to roughly the same size, and then, and then just 
drawing lines straight across, see how they line up, is because it, 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 re it relies too much on, you know, both faces being lined up the same way, tilted at the same angle and all that. So now I'm going to show you the preferred, the new, the right way to do this. Now I'm gonna use my image-based species identification system that I nicknamed proportional DNA, which works on bodies and faces. And on the far left, of course, the beloved actor Harrison Ford, there is Indiana Jones. On the far right is Patty. And I can't, I can't use Patty's face on this because she's turned to the right and I can't get a good measurement from the center of her nose to the center of her eye. But there is another big furry face below that we can use. But right now, I am going to focus on these two faces. Here, let me just get, get zoomed in nice and tight. I am going to take a measurement using my graphical measurement bars here. And here, let me get that a little better. I'm going to get as close as I can to the center of the eye there and come over to the center of the nose, about like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now I'm going to go, and I call this the eye line for obvious reasons. Now I'm going to come from the eye line down to the bottom of the nose. Here, let me uh, change that color a bit. Now, last measurement we need to take is from the bottom of the nose area down to the center of the mouth. And I'll give that a slightly different color. There, those three measurements will give me the proportions of whatever this is, its face. And then I can compare it to Harrison and, and big furry faces on the right and, and see if it matches. Okay, time for our first comparison here is the face on the left and the face on the right scaled to the exact same size. No, I've purposely left them scaled to different sizes because as I pointed out a minute ago, that's old school thinking. That's something I was doing a decade ago it doesn't work well because it relies too much on both faces being lined up exactly the same. The new, better way to do it is to measure the proportions and then compare them. So this, this guy on the right, quick introduction, we, he didn't come from just a photo of a face. We see this thing in a video, in the trees at night. It's, it's white from head to toe and this thing can scoot. It is fast. And I use it because it looks directly into the camera for just a split second there. And that allows me to take all three of the same face measurements. And in a second video I did of this thing, I show you that this thing's face proportions are profoundly non-human. So now let's just compare these two. I'll bring these proportions over and look, the distance from the bottom of the nose to the center of the mouth is way off. So I'm going to grab all three measurement bars. And that is the beauty of proportions. I can scale them down as small as a postage stamp or up to the size of a building and proportions stay the same. So now all I have to do is get to the bottom of the nose there, center of the mouth, about like that. There, we have one of the three measurement bars lined up. But look at the nose bar. It is like way too, too long now by what? About 25%. And, and look at the eye measurement bar. It's up on its forehead. So, so here, let me, let me try to get the eye line lined up. It's got to go from the center of the nose right there. Maybe a little, little smaller there. It goes from the center of the face to the center of the eye. So that's lined up, but look at the nose line. It now comes down to the top of the lips and, and the lip line here comes down to the chin area. So there is no way to scale these three measurement bars measured from the face on the left so that they would ever line up with the face on the right. Unless, of course, I started cheating and doing things like that. But that is not what I did. I scale them all the exact same amount. So bottom line Whatever this thing is on the left, it is profoundly not the same species as this guy on the right. And by the way, the guy, the white face on the right, I have measured and compared the distance, the length of its nose and the jaw dropping distance from the bottom of its nose to the center of its mouth. And it lines up with the Patterson. 
Bigfoot. So two out of three there and only one out of three with the face on the left. Okay, final comparison here. Did the, the alleged Bigfoot in the center have the same face proportions as the white force giant? Mm, not at all. And you can see again how profoundly different they are. So now we're going to compare them with the face of all of mankind. Human Harrison Ford's face here represents the, the face proportions of all of mankind. Mind yours, every normal, typical adult human on this planet, male or female, has the same three face proportions. So what I'm going to do to see if this thing in the center there is a human or has human face proportions, just going to pull these over and see how they compare. Let's see. Uh, the eye line from the center of the eye to the center of the face. Does it line up? Check. From the eye line down to the bottom of the nose, does that measurement bar line up? Check. Last one does from the bottom of the nose line up to the center of the mouth. And I would say all but 100% check. So based on these three simple face proportion measurements, and also based on the fact that I've been studying and painting portraits and sketching faces since I was a child. So, but, but don't take my word for it. Just take the word of these three measurements bars, which prove that this face on the right 100% has human face proportions. And to further prove the point that the face on the left, the human face on the left, and the face on the right have the exact same proportions, I am going to do a simple overlay and start fading out. And you'll see here in a second, look, you can see Harrison Ford's eyes underneath. They are lined up on the same line and they are spaced at the same distance. Look at the nose. The noses are the same length and the mouths line up. Proving that this face on the right has 100% human face proportions. And now let's do this to, to, to sh quickly show you that all humans, no matter what ethnicity, all normal, typical adult humans share the same face proportions. Here's another beloved actor, Don Cheadle. And I am going to start fading out of Mr. Cheadle's face. And underneath, we're seeing Harrison Ford's eyes and face shining through. And look, they're lined up on the same line and they are spaced at the exact same distance. And their noses, we see they come down to the exact same place and their mouths line up. So once again, every normal, typical adult human on the planet, doesn't matter for male or female, ethnicity doesn't matter. Our face proportions and our body proportions are the same. So whatever this thing here over here is, over on the right is, it has 100% human face proportions. So despite a good many of you being very impressed with the analysis of, of the new guy on the block who said 100% the Bigfoot mugshot is a real photo of a real undiscovered hominid species. I showed you Satan Fudge's work who proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that incredibly compelling images can be made by compositing known species. And by the way, come to satanfudge.com, check out his work and, and be a subscriber. And despite new analysis that said practically 100% AI could not generate fur or, or hair that looks like that, I've shown you the exact opposite. You watched as AI created this image. And despite this new dazzling analysis using my 10 year old techniques and not giving me credit, that proves, according to him, that the face on the right does not ha have human proportions. I've shown you 100% that they do. And you do not have to take my word for it. I never ask you to accept my opinion. I, you watched me take these three simple measurements and then simply drag them over and compare. You saw them line up and you saw them not line up. So I guess bottom line here is while somebody might have a charming accent 
and might have a, a dazzling video full of what sounds like a lot of amazing facts and interesting things to say. Bottom line, if you're going to steal techniques from me, make sure you steal my latest techniques and not stuff I was doing 10 years ago. I mean, if you do, you're going to be a hack. And plus, this is a uh, patent pending process on this. So th there will be no stealing of my proportional DNA, but it is the ultimate answer. Body proportions and face proportions do not lie. You cannot change uh, how, how far apart the eyes are, how, how long or how short the nose is, or, or how far the mouth is from the nose, our body proportions. You can't change any of that just because you've put on a monkey suit. Last thing I'm going to show you, just, just using your good old common sense here. Watch, I am going to draw a line through the center of Mr. Ford's eyes. Now I'll do the same with his brows. And now I'll do the same with the bottom of his ears. And I would do his mouth, but he's got his mouth kind of, kind of crooked there. So I'll leave that off. And now I'll go from the center of his face, down through his nose, through his mouth, down to his chin. Look at that. It all lines up. As in, say, from here to here is essentially the same distance as from here to here. And it's the same right here and here. Now look at this Picasso face over here on the right. I'm going to go draw a line through the center of its eyes, or close to the center. And now I'm going to do its, its brow line. And now I'm going to go through the center of its mouth or at least follow the line of its mouth and the line of its eyes and the line of its brows. Nothing lines up. Here, let's go from the center of its face down through its nose. Look at, look at the differences. Look at the profound differences. Look at the difference from here to here and here to here. It's almost half the distance. Look at the distance from here to here versus here to here, way off. So what is simpler for you to believe on the face over here on the right? That it's a real species like this new expert has told you, that it is 100% real and an undiscovered species. And that it just happens to have a face that looks like it was put together out of say four or five different faces, each photographed from a slightly different angle, explaining why it's so crooked or is it simpler to believe that it was a face done by an artist someone like satan fudge who took a scalp from one species brows from another eyes from another nose from another mouth from another and pieced them all together and that is why that they're they're so profoundly crooked here all right, everybody, that is all I've got. Special thanks, as always, to, to my patrons and YouTube members. W without their monthly support, I, I would not be able to bring you this just simple, simple, common sense examples like I've shown you here. I didn't ask you once to accept my opinion on anything. I showed you. I didn't just talk about AI. I went into AI and proved by letting you see what I was doing. I didn't ask you to, to take any of these measurements or my opinion for these measurements. I did them for you right in front of your eyes. What do you trust? Just think about that and be careful and don't be dazzled by stunning graphics and, 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 and charming accents. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. And for the people who watch my videos all the way to the very end, here's a little bonus to say thank you. And I'll try to get it done before I completely lose my voice here. Here is another amazing image by composite artist Satan Fudge. Again, go to satanfudge.com and check it out. So, so our new Bigfoot analyst expert, we also heard him tell people, hey, you can't take, say, a nose from a known primate and change it up 
and make it look like something new. Or you can't do that to the eyes or the mouth. And yet again, this, this poor guy is 100% wrong. Let me just zoom in on an eye here. Here, I'll make my brush smaller. And I want to give this thing a nice big round eye. Like we've heard so many say these forest giants have. And notice that it's it's not destroying the, the skin or, or texture underneath. I, I can just move this around all I want. And, and this is this is all really older technology. And here, let's say I want to make it a lot bigger. Easy. Seconds. And let's say I don't like how this this all looks here. And I can just, you know, you can just, you can get fussy. You can spend hours changing all this around and just radically, radically change any species into something brand new. Like say this nostril here. I want to, I want to radically change this up and give it an entirely different shaped nostril. And I don't have to worry about symmetry because I could just do half a face and then, uh, and then just flip it all around, flip it, invert it. Okay, I make that bridge. And here, let me, uh, let me give it a big bulbous nose. Let me make that a little broader. Something like that. Let's zoom out and see what we've got so far. <laughs> so boy, this thing is already, already changing radically. And now I want that nose to be much further from the mouth, something like that. And I want its brows to be different and its eyes to be wider set and its mouth to be narrower, something like that. And I want to change the overall shape of its head. Anything you want anything you want. So it's kind of crazy when somebody tells us this isn't possible. Of course it's possible. And it's quite easily done with old antiquated technology. Look, look at what we've got so far. Look at that. W would you say I've changed, changed its uh, facial features a little? Also, we heard this guy say that the color of the fur that we saw in today's image. He says, like, you, 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 you can't just change that. Wrong again. Um, here, watch. Just, just by scrolling a little slider. There's the red, he said, was impossible to do. And maybe I want to warm that up a little more. I'll put a little more yellow in there. And if I wanted, I could put a little green in there. I'm not going to do that, though. I'll put that back to zero. So look at that. What is this? A couple of minutes now, and I have radically, radically changed what, what could have been a monkey or gorilla. I could have taken parts from each, put them in here, and just radically transform them. And now let's say I want to take some of this, this fur or hair down here, and I want to start filling it in up here. Something like that. And I'll take some of this down here. I'll give it a mustache. Now I want to quickly copy this eye and now I'm going to take it over here, flip it, something about like that. And I could erase some of the edges, make it blend in a little better there. So never let somebody just tell you that something can or can't be done or is or isn't impossible. Make them show you. For 14 years now, I've been giving you live demonstrations. I don't tell you things. I don't expect you to accept my opinion. I show you and let you decide for yourself. So yeah, I get it. It, it might be nice when somebody comes along and they've got a, again, they've got a cool new accent and they're telling you all these amazing things. Make them show you, make them prove it. 
I've now shown you that everything this new expert told you is now wrong. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.